Welcome back, guys. This is Jason, KM4ACK. If you've been following the channel for a while, you guys may already know that last year I wrote an emergency email server application for the Raspberry Pi. I've had quite a few operators email me and ask if they could have a copy of that image so that they could use that system as well. Part of the problem with that was I initially built that uh, just for myself and never really thought about distribution to anybody else when I initially built it. So several things were hard-coded in there, uh, and I, I started looking at going back and rewriting some of that. And I did uh, allow a few operators to have a copy of that, and it just it, it didn't work very well trying to install it on another system. And then the other side of that was it was kind of a one-trick pony. Uh, it, did, it did something really well once it was installed and configured, uh, but it didn't do very much else besides that. Uh, it was hard to configure uh, for the, you know, all the different radios and sound cards and things like that that, that you might. might want to use it in conjunction with. And quite honestly, it uh, was easy to break uh, at times with various updates and things like that. So I started rethinking that uh, process and how we might could integrate that system into the current system that I'm, I'm building. So I went back and took pieces and parts of that and kind of stripped that entire project down to basically its core. And I'm kind of coming back out with something called the light version. So I want to kind of look at that today. And next week, we will be going ahead and releasing the code for that. And we'll have a video on exactly how to get that installed and running on your system. So let's take a look at it running on the Pi. Now, the cool thing about it is it runs as a web service, so not only is it available from here on the Pi's desktop, but let's swap over to my Mac's web browser. So here you can see the exact same thing. All I've done is I've entered the IP address of my Pi in my Mac's web browser and then appended the email.php to it to bring you to this page. So if you were at a shelter or uh, some, some sort of disaster uh, situation where you had people around you that wanted to communicate with the outside world, but all of the normal avenues of communication were down, uh, cell phones, text messages, things like that, they could use their wireless device to connect to a hotspot that your Raspberry Pi was generating. They would go through and fill out this page here. And after they had filled everything out, they would just go ahead and click send the email. Now, there's a script that runs in the background every 60 seconds that moves the emails that the user created from a temporary directory over to your Pat mailbox directory. So right now, you can see that the outbox is empty. As soon as that script runs the next time, and like I said, it's set to run every 60 seconds, you will see that email populate in your outbox. Once it's populated in the outbox, you would have the opportunity to review the email before it was sent out. This would ensure that no for-profit emails got sent over the amateur bands. Once you approved it, you could just X out and go ahead and make your connection to a WinLink gateway to send the message out. When replies are received into the system, you can open up that reply and then copy and paste the information from this screen over to this page here. Once the form is filled out, you simply click post the reply. Then your end user could come into the search page and simply search for an email to see an email address to see if they got a reply. You can see in this case, I've got two different replies from jason at gmail.com. If you click on any one of those, it will go ahead and display this message here. So there's a quick look at the revamped emergency email server. Stick around for next Friday's video, and we will show you guys how to get this installed on your system. It just kind of hangs out in the background. It doesn't really take up any system resources. And then if you ever needed this tool, you can quickly deploy it. Hey, All go right. ahead and hit the thumbs up before you move on to the next video, and we will see you guys next week. Until then, 7-3.